Hello friends, this video on applications of biotechnology part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this is how we saw that biotechnology is useful in the field of agriculture and in the field of medicine. So now we are going to talk about transgenic animals. Now what is transgenic? Those animals with manipulated DNA. Now what does manipulated DNA means? Those animals where their DNA has been mixed and matched with some other DNA. So like genetic, genetically engineered animals are called transgenic animals. Now the question is why do we have transgenic animals? What is the need of having transgenic animals at all? So let us first look at some of the examples of transgenic animals. So one of the best examples are the mice. You will actually see a lot of genetically engineered mice. Now as I was giving you the example of the jellyfish where the jellyfish they have a, a feature that they glow at night. So if we want the same feature in mice, so what do we do? We just uh, extract that particular gene and insert that gene inside the cell of a mice. And that's how the mice can also glow at night. So you actually see a lot of varieties of mice, some with different colors, some with different ears, some with different tails. And all of that happens due to genetic engineering. So in transgenic animals, you also see pigs. So a lot of pigs have also been modified uh, by manipulating their DNA, even the cows. So with cows also, you see that there are a lot of uh, genetically engineered cows. Now, there are benefits of genetically engineered animals because when we genetically engineer animals, we do it for our benefit. So all the advantages are in favor of human beings because we are the ones who do this entire thing of genetic engineering. Now, in the entire concept, what we do is we insert some desired genes into the animals. So, obviously, there are, there are going to be some desirable benefits and that is why we have transgenic animals. So now we will try to look at the advantages or what is the need of having these transgenic animals? Why are we putting in so much of effort to produce transgenic animals? So why are transgenic animals produced? To study the role of genes in diseases so that new treatments can evolve. Okay, so you can say that these transgenic animals, when they are produced, they become a sort of, uh, uh, you can say like when we, you experiment with things. So when you experiment with things, you need uh, a scapegoat to experiment with. So the same thing happens with these transgenic animals. So human beings are trying to mix and match genes of different animals and they are trying to see the new organisms which are evolving so what kind what are the ways different genetic diseases take place because everything is under the control of human beings they can mix and match any gene they want so they can actually study a lot of diseases how they are caused and how they can be treated so they can try new treatments on the transgenic animals and see how the new treatment impact or how the new treatment can treat the animals useful products are obtained from transgenic animals now this is very important now you might wonder that how useful products can be obtained so the best example that i would give is that of a transgenic cow in fact it was the first transgenic cow which was named rosie and it produced milk like, like all other cows but the milk produced by the transgenic cow rosie contained protein a lot of more proteins like when compared to the normal cow's milk it contained a lot more proteins so that milk was nutritionally more balanced than that of uh, the natural cow milk so it was more uh, healthy for the human babies than that of the normal cow milk now why was this difference because in transgenic cow it is we who decide which gene has to be present and which one not so when we decided okay we want more protein in the milk so that the gene which was responsible for increasing the protein content in milk that was incorporated in rosy and that is why the milk was nutritionally more beneficial so that means there, there can be many useful products that could be obtained from transgenic animals can be used to test the safety of vaccines before being applied to humans. 
Now, if you see now, there are vaccines available for a lot of diseases. Like earlier, it was only for smallpox, tetanus, polio. Now, there are a couple of other diseases, even for swine flu or any other deadly flus also, you have vaccines. So what are these vaccines? They actually need to be tested before you actually apply them to human beings because vaccines are nothing but they will either contain very small concentration of the pathogen or it will contain the dead pathogens. So we actually need to see how the immune system of the body is reacting uh, when the vaccine is being applied or is being injected into the body. So for that purpose, so for testing how the vaccine, how well the vaccine works, for that purpose also transgenic animals could be used. So there, why do we need transgenic animals? Because if you try it on say a cow, so now the body structure of cow is quite different from that of human beings. But if you try it on some transgenic animals where you insert some genes of human beings as well, so that makes it better can be used to test the toxicity of drugs. So basically these transgenic animals are mostly used for testing purpose, whether testing the uh, effectiveness of drugs or testing, testing how poisonous the drugs are or what are the adverse effects that they can have on human beings or for testing the safety of vaccines or for testing self, the cause of diseases and how they can be treated. So initial testing is done on these transgenic animals for safety of human beings. And that is the reason why transgenic animals are being produced. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.